Chapter 1321, Bloody War at the Palace The Blood Devil Army used the weakest and the lowest-leveled Blood Devils who had not fully developed as the foundation of their bridge. The rest of the army used this bridge to cross the waist-high water. Thousands of Blood Devils stepped on the corpses of their comrades without fear and advanced. They suddenly rushed towards the palace. Gradually, the Blood Devils underwater could not bear the massive force from being stepped on. They coughed out blood. The skin on their backs started to turn red. In the end, they were trampled to death underwater. They truly used the bones of the dead to pave the way forward. The Blood Devil army wanted to obtain victory by stepping on the corpses of their comrades. Lu Xu was clear with his judgment. After the Blood Devil reached rank 3, they gained the ability to fly. There were over 100,000 Inferno Blood Devils, or even millions of them, who could fly. Lu Xu was thankful that Chen Kong only endured for over a decade before he could no longer take it. He was also thankful that the resources in the North region were limited. The rate at which the Blood Devils obtained strength from humans probably had something to do with the strength of their hosts. This meant that blood devils in the bodies of ordinary people would not be very strong, as ordinary people would not be able to provide the blood devils with much resources. Thankfully, this was the case. If not, the imperial dragon soldiers would have to face an even stronger enemy. Lu Xu looked at the east wall. The disciples of the sword hut maintained a strict formation. Everyone had unsheathed their swords. They were not flowers who had been grown in a greenhouse. They did not just know how to train in the sword hut. They radiated murderous intent. The training model of the sword hut was very good. A majority of the disciples in the sword hut were from armies. Before they entered the sword hut, they had stained their hands with blood. Furthermore, to the sword hut, their strength was good enough if they passed the first round. But Gu Lingfei was very clever. She eliminated all those who were not suitable or were lurking with danger in the second round. Thus, even if the disciples of the sword hut had the blood of the wealthy families in the palace, they were the sons of concubines who had been neglected. Back then, when Sun Xuanwen wanted to send Sun Zhongyang to the rear mountain of the Sun Zhongyang, no matter how many resources Sun Xuanwen provided, his wishes did not come true. The sword hut would not allow any wealthy family to buy their way in, unless their child was malleable. Furthermore, after their training at the sword hut, the sword hut would encourage them to return to their armies and train. It was not to allow them to train their combat skills. They were afraid that the disciples would lose their bloodthirstiness in the sword hut. Did this group of murderers need skills to fight in an army? They had the foundation of a rank one. In a place where they spent thousands of years training warriors, they did not need the contrast of weaklings. To them, an ordinary army was a form of contrast. Now, they had all gathered at the city wall. They unsheathed their swords from their waists. They would fight for the king of gods once again. The sword hut existed to help God Lu fight. The disciples of the sword hut had never forgotten this fact. No matter how many conflicts broke out between the head of the sword hut and God Lu, they would never forget about this. When war was upon them, the sword hut called back all their disciples. But this was not the mysterious part. Most mysteriously, all of them returned. Not a single one of them was missing. Lu Xu had agreed to the sword hut protecting the east wall. Back then, most of the male companions he had encountered in the East Region Imperial Palace were rank ones. Yu Fuyao might have taken resources from the East Region and spent many years nurturing hundreds of rank one experts. There might be many masters as well. If not, she would be pained if she had to sacrifice a master on earth, right? Perhaps Jiang Shui also knew about this. Thus, she offered to handle this problem. Lu Xu was very grateful that she was very clear in her judgment. They were truly on the same side. But now, Lu Xu suddenly realized that Jiang Shui had offered to guard the East, simply because she did not want to deal with the blood devils. At first, although Lu Xu knew that there were many blood devils, he did not expect this many. 
he did not know that the restricted airspace in the palace was completely useless either. Of course, Lu Xu felt that it was good enough that the sword hut could participate in the battle. The king of gods had to lead the sword hut and fight. No matter whether it was the evil intention of God Lu reaching the realm of the king of gods, or allowing Ching Kong to transform the universe into hell, Jiang Shui and the others did not want to see this happen. They would not accept either outcome. Putting aside their loyalty to the king of gods, they understood the meaning of mutual interdependence very well. This battle concerned the life and death of everyone. When the red wave surged forth, Li Liang coldly said through the communication channel, Every day, you boast about how amazing you are. Actions speak louder than words, it's time to see what someone is worth. Imperial dragon soldiers, form three columns. Imperial palace soldiers, cover the skies. Lu Xu, Lu Xiaoyu, Ming Yuaya, and the others did not immediately attack. Their enemies were not these ordinary blood devils. Everyone had a part to play in a war. If they could do what they wanted just because they were strong, they would not be able to fight this war. Lu Xu, the Imperial Palace soldiers, and a few others were the only ones who could counter the blood devils in the sky. Needless to say, even after the world tide split into seven parts, it still had massive destructive power. Now that Ouyang Lishang did not need to create messenger mirrors, he changed his focus to other weapons. For example, the world tied. Lu Xu had brought the mold back from Earth. All Ouyang Lishang had to do was to create and carve the patterns with his disciples. The Imperial Dragon soldiers needed more world tides, they had to face the Inferno Blood Devils, which could fly in the sky. They needed more methods. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu looked at each other. Lu Xu aimed his sparrow shade to the sky, like a gray tornado. He said to Lu Xiaoyu, let Anthony attack to buy them some time. It was common for accidental deaths to occur in the beginning stages of a war. This mistreatment was a result of not knowing what techniques would be most effective against the enemy. It was like playing a game. The first time you encountered a monster, you would not know what skills and attacks they had. It was easy to die suddenly. What Lu Xu had to do was to help them reduce some of this pressure and allow them to find their own rhythm quickly. He also had to allow them to find a way to deal with the blood devils. Lu Xiaoyu nodded. She summoned Anthony, who had been hiding underground. Ming Yuaya guarded them, preventing anyone from assassinating Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu. In the past, Ming Yuaya was the commander of the guards. Later on, he passed on this role to Arcane. Thus, Ming Yuaya's role was to protect God Lu, even though God Lu did not need the protection of anyone. The only person who could kill God Lu was himself. The ground started to collapse. Some blood devils who were walking on the path of skeletons suddenly realized that the bridge of bones beneath their feet was starting to fall apart. In the end, the bridge sank into the ground, bringing the blood devils on the bridge along with it. Chapter 1322, Life for a Life This level of control over the ground was nothing to Anthony. He only needed to make the ground softer. Then, he would pull down the bridge of bones. It was easy and efficient. The blood devils who were traveling on the bridge of bones sank into the ground. No matter how they struggled, they were unable to break free. This was the most frightening part of the mud and swampy terrain he created. When you started to sink, there was nowhere for you to hold on to. Beneath you was soft ground and there was no support beside you. No matter how much you struggle, you would simply be wasting your energy. Furthermore, their comrades would not care about them. They simply stepped on their bodies and then these blood devils formed the new bridge of bones. The cruelty of war was that the lives you treasured in times of peace became worthless. Lives were like weeds that were gathered by the scythe of a reaper. Lu Xu's sparrow shade looked for the flight paths of the blood devils and killed them. He wanted to prevent them from suddenly descending to the city wall and attacking the imperial dragon soldiers. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu's attacks helped the imperial dragon soldiers to buy time. Before the blood devils walked on the bridge of bones and entered the battlefield once again. 
they could become better acquainted with their defenses. At first, the Imperial Dragon soldiers were evidently panicking. The Blood Devil army did not have any weapons to attack the city wall. Instead, they used the bodies of their comrades as ladders and climbed up. They were not afraid of death. The Blood Devils in the vanguard were not as ferocious as they had imagined. They were simply rank for Blood Devils. But the Imperial Dragon soldiers were fighting these devils, who seemed to use every part of their body as weapons, including their claws and teeth. The Blood Devils who had been attacked with the tridents tried to struggle and attack the Imperial Dragon soldiers. Needless to say, their magical helmets were of great use now. If not, the Imperial Dragon soldiers would have died very easily. Chen Zuan used his flying sword and killed the Blood Devils who were flying in the sky. A Blood Devil, whose body had been cut into half, still tried to struggle and fight him. When the Blood Devil crawled to Chen Zuan's leg and tried to bite him, Chang Chiu Chiao's flying sword slashed through its head. Chang Chiu Chiao stabilized his breathing. Don't be careless. When Chen Zuan saw the severed Blood Devil, he immediately grew angry. The murderous intent that had been concealed in his heart suddenly surged forth. Chen Zuan was someone who had gone through many near-death experiences. The Imperial Dragon soldiers finally knew what kind of enemy they were facing. They had to be even more ferocious than their enemy. Suddenly, a strong blood devil appeared from among the vanguard troops. Before the Imperial Dragon soldiers could react, it dragged one of the Imperial Dragon soldiers outside the palace. Mark! Someone shouted in shock. Beneath them were all blood devils. If they were dragged down by the blood devils, only death awaited them. But Mark, who was being rapidly dragged down by a blood devil, suddenly laughed. Damn it! Brothers, I will go first. The next moment, Mark gave up on his trident. He concentrated all the energy in his body and threw his trident at the vanguard troops. The trident went through the bodies of over ten blood devils, but it showed no sign of stopping. Mark still tried to kill his enemies while being dragged down. Yes, you had to be more ferocious than the blood devils. At this moment, the blood devil was still intertwined with Mark and trying to pull him to the ground. The trident was useless at this distinct and so, Mark forcibly twisted his body. The edges of his armor poked the blood devil and he then leaned on the blood devil to break his fall. Crash. When Mark fell to the ground, the blood devil, who had been trapped in between Mark's knees, turned into limp meat. Mark stood up among the blood devils and laughed out loud. Damn it. Did you really think that you would kill me? Come. He shouted angrily among the crowd of blood devils. He was like a hero who was embarking on an unknown path and wanted to drag these countless blood devils along with him on his journey. There were some people on the city wall who wanted to jump down and help Mark, but Li Liang coldly reminded them, whoever jumps down will go against my orders. Are you dumb? Have the many wars you have gone through taught you nothing about life and death? Someone scolded him. Li Liang, I will not save you even if you fall down there. Li Liang laughed out loud. His voice was ice cold and cruel. Saving me is also going against orders. Don't come down, I would be busy killing blood devils then. When the blood devil army saw how ferocious Mark was, they took two steps back. Then, they surrounded him, Mark did not flinch. He had to find the best opportunity to kill the blood devils. Even the blood devils were not afraid to die. Could an imperial dragon soldier like him lose to them? Even if his head was chopped off, only a scar would be left. He would still be an imperial dragon soldier serving the king of gods in his next life. But at that moment moment, someone grabbed his collar and threw him to the city wall. Li Liang reacted quickly and caught him. Mark panicked. He looked down. Great lord. No one expected Lu Xu to step into a void, appear among the blood devils, and throw Mark back up. Mark panicked. He could die, but how could he allow his great lord to be in danger because of him? 
the blood devils were about to attack Mark, but only Lu Xu was left there. At this moment, the flaming seizing thief suddenly appeared in Lu Xu's hands. There was a bright flash of sword energy. Then, all the blood devils in the vicinity immediately disintegrated. But Lu Xu did not relax. He slashed his sword in a mysterious direction. No one knew why Lu Xu attacked there, as there was nothing there. The next moment, a broken void appeared. A master tried to step out of the broken void and kill Lu Xu, but the void was immediately sealed by Lu Xu. Everyone waited. The void opened and closed. It was an opportunity that the master had been waiting for, but he never made it. This scene boosted the morale of the Imperial Dragon soldiers. They were also shocked. Lu Xu's sword caused even a master to retreat. Even the blood devils, who were not afraid to die, started to retreat. No blood devil dared to approach Lu Xu. Lu Xu did not continue to fight. Instead, he returned to the city wall. Mark rushed over. Great Lord, I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for. Lu Xu smiled and kept seizing Thief in his celestial map. It's not the right time for the lives of you, Imperial Dragon soldiers, to be exchanged for theirs. Go back to where you are supposed to be. Li Liang had a complex expression on his face. He knew that it was extremely risky for Lu Xu to do so. There was a master who wanted to kill Lu Xu. But he suddenly understood that if Lu Xu did not do so, it would no longer be Lu Xu. Great Lord, you are not suitable for war, said Li Liang with a sigh. Lu Xu laughed. I know. Chapter 1323, A Past Joke To Lu Xu, this was simply a practice stage. Any wrong moves could be accepted. Most importantly, before he finished lighting up the sixth level of Nebula, he did not need to worry about being assassinated. He only had to worry about Chung Kong and the Blood Devils who had reached the Master Realm. If the evil intention of God Lu wanted to break through to the realm of the King of Gods, he would have to absorb Ching Kong. But Ching Kong would also think of a way. The old Blood Devil would know that if he allowed the evil intention of God Lu to advance to the realm of the King of Gods, ten of him would not be able to face him. Thus, Ching Kong definitely wanted to kill Lu Xu and foil his plans. If Lu Xu had not returned and if the evil intention of God Lu had not revealed his plans, Qin Kong could continue waiting. He would have plenty of time to wait until the north region was filled with blood devils. Then, he would occupy the world. At that time, not only would the north region be occupied, the entire universe would be turned into a world of demons. Of course, the evil intention of God Lu probably knew about this. Thus, he decided to stop waiting. The massacre continued. The Imperial Dragon soldiers mastered their roles quickly, as they did not want Lu Xu to continuously save them. Although this was a form of honor, it was now wartime. When Mark returned to the wall and continued to fight, the others only had the time to crack a few jokes in between killing the enemies. The hero is back. But close after, they were engrossed in an intense fight. Feelings were not needed in a war. Very quickly, the Imperial Dragon soldiers became used to how the Blood Devils fought. At this moment, they realized that there was not much to the Blood Devils. They simply had to be more cautious when fighting the Rank 4 Blood Devils in the Vanguard troops. It was like playing a game. They only had to ensure that they completely killed the Blood Devils. If not, they would launch a counterattack before they died. Just as they were growing excited, Li Liang poured a bucket of cold water over their heads. He laughed coldly through the communication channel, this is nothing. Do you see the countless blood devils behind them? Even if you kill one with one strike, you will long be exhausted before you killed them all. Everyone looked towards the mountains, which were lit up by the moonlight. Li Liang was right. There were far too many blood devils before them. They did not need to be wary of the claws and teeth of the blood devils. They had to be wary of their numbers. A large number of low-leveled blood devils rushed forward just to waste the energy of the imperial dragon soldiers. 
While they fought and defended the city, victory would definitely not be decided on the first day. The people in the inner city were making meals. The imperial dragon soldiers were split into three groups. Li Liang knew that the war would be very tough. Thus, he could not allow his troops to be fatigued. While there were people fighting, there were also people resting. If they were an ordinary army, they would not be able to do so. Their line of defense would have been broken through by the blood devils long ago. Only the imperial dragon soldiers could do so. The slaves from the wealthy families were the ones making meals in the inner city. When there were not enough people, even their masters had to help out. When did the masters of wealthy families do such things? But there were people from the imperial dragon soldiers in charge of supervising them. These people were shrewd people who had been carefully selected by Li Liang to prevent them from being cheated by the wealthy families. Lu Xu had provided the ingredients from the Seal of Lands, as Chaos was not particularly interested in these grains. It was only interested in weapons. Thus, the grains were spared. But these wealthy families had many tricks up their sleeves. They still had to keep their guard up. Anyone who entered the kitchen would be stripped naked and searched. They also had to put on new clothes to prevent anyone from bringing in poison. The masters of the wealthy families were stripped naked and searched. They had never imagined that they would face such humiliation. But they were not deliberately being humiliated. This was a realistic need. Furthermore, Lu Xu had offered a large amount of refresher fruits for the chefs to include in their meals. This time, the refresher fruits were not used to increase their aptitude. Instead, they were used to recover their energy. Lu Xu remembered that Lu Xiaoyu ate a refresher fruit for the first time when she had a fever. After she ate the fruit, she fully recovered. She had even regained her energy. At first, Li Liang was worried that they were too desperate and risky. Later on, he realized that everyone had silently accepted this reality. They did not overreact. One of the masters sighed as he chopped carrots. Do you remember the joke that went around when the Wei Wu army first appeared? Some masters, who were peeling potatoes, looked up. What joke? Back then, an aristocrat from the south region ordered his slave to find the Wei Wu army. He said that he would provide for Lu Xu. He asked Lu Xu, the king of gods, what he would be able to offer in exchange, said the master. I remember this story, the master of the Song family was dumbfounded. In the end, Lu, the king of gods said, send money to the King Lu Mountain and he would be able to become his adopted son. Thinking about it now, many people missed this opportunity. The master who was peeling carrots sighed. From Song Lingxu's distress, plus 666. From. Everyone was silent. The master of the Song family, Song Lingxu, laughed bitterly. That was probably the peak of that master's life. He almost became the adopted son of the king of gods. The adopted son of the king of gods would definitely not need to peel potatoes. The fight continued after night fell and all the way until dawn broke. The imperial dragon soldiers who had taken over were energetic, but gradually, they could no longer take it. When they were replaced, they immediately wanted to lean against the wall and sleep. But they could not sleep yet. Everyone was forced by Zhang Weiyu to eat the food that was mixed with refresher fruit. If they did not eat the refresher fruits, they would only be able to regain a bit of their energy after sleeping. But with the refresher fruits, they would be able to go back into battle after one or two hours of rest. It was the same in the sword hut. They had to eat. When Lu Xu took out the refresher fruits, he was afraid that he would incur losses. But now, the rate at which he earned distress points grew faster. No matter whether it was the people the sword hut or when Zaifu had killed, all the distress points went to Lu Xu. Everyone knew that this war had been waged to kill Lu Xu. They had died because of Lu Xu. Lu Xu stood on the city wall and calmly looked at the bodies flying around. He watched as the blood devils died one by one. 
the bodies of the blood devils flew over from several kilometers away. It was as if they could build a bridge up the city wall with their bodies. Lu Xu stood on the city wall. Around him were shouts of killing, panting, and screams of pain. When everyone started to feel fatigued, injuries occurred among the Imperial Dragon soldiers. When Rank 2 experts were fatigued, even Rank 4 blood devils could injure them. But the war had not ended. No one could collapse. No one knew when the war would end either. At that moment, there was an explosion from behind the Blood Devil army. To Lu Xu's shock, he saw two ironclad puppets killing from behind. With this, the Blood Devil army did not have any new combat power entering the battlefield. When the sun rose, the first batch of Blood Devil troops started to retreat. Lu Xu sighed softly. He looked at the rising sun and said, Once we are done killing the rest of the Blood Devils, take the opportunity to rest. They will come back. That will be the toughest period. Chapter 1324, Tonight The Blood Devil army retreated when the sun rose. Perhaps that was their plan long ago as that was a probing attack. When the Imperial Dragon soldiers became familiar with the Blood Devil army, the commander behind made use of the Blood Devil's lives to test the Imperial Dragon soldiers. At this moment, nobody had played their trump card yet. The Blood Devils gathered on the faraway mountain. When the first beam of sunlight shone on the palace, all the Imperial Dragon soldiers took a deep breath. The Blood Devil army had stained the mountain with blood. Innumerous bodies of the Blood Devils were on the ground. The Imperial Dragon soldiers did not know how many Blood Devils they had killed. Moreover, it seemed as though they could never finish killing the Blood Devils. Many straws may bind an elephant, if that continued, the Imperial Dragon soldiers would be tired to death. The water was about to be drained but new bloody water flowed in. When the ground began to dry, the entire palace was painted dark purple. It was extremely dirty and stinky. However, the Imperial Dragon soldiers were used to this smell. They were no longer sensitive to the stench of blood. Lu Xu smiled. Finally, it feels like a graveyard. Cloudy and Tiger Ji looked at Lu Xu. It was not a coincidence when they made the ironclad puppets attack at the break of dawn. They wanted to attack when they discovered the commander of the Blood Devil army and succeeded. That was the reason why they appeared from behind. The Blood Devil army began to retreat because their commander was killed. The later batches of the army will definitely reach here very soon, said Tiger Ji. There's no significance if only the commander is killed. Lu Xu nodded. However, it is already very good if everyone has the chance to rest. At this moment, all the Imperial Dragon soldiers slept on the ground while hugging onto their tridents after eating. There were houses prepared in the city but everyone knew that once the Blood Devil army attacked, they could reach the inner city in five minutes of flight. If they returned to their accommodation and slept, it would be a waste of time. Lu Xu did not reminisce with Cloudy and Tiger Ji because they did not have the time to do so. He looked at Li Liang. How are the other parties? The Sword Hut blocked the army of the East region. They were also testing them, but the Sword Hut seems to be more relaxed, said Li Liang. The troops of the South region led by Wen Zaifu has already defeated the army of the West region. The only suspicious thing is that Sun Xuanwen did not seem to appear in the earlier battle. Therefore, with three masters on Wen Zaifu's side, the army of the West region cannot take it. Sun Xuanwen disappeared, asked Lu Xu. Yes, Wen Zaifu and the rest were initially keeping their guard up against Sun Xuanwen. However, he disappeared, said Li Liang. A group of spies that Yi Qian planted in the troops of the West region has been asked to come back and only a few are left. The only thing we know is that Sun Xuanwen has not appeared. Wen Zaifu is currently chasing after the troops of the West region and had entered the mountains nearby. He wants to kill all of them. Lu Xu was focused on the Blood Devils yesterday and hence had no time to care about what exactly happened on Wen Zaifu's side. He did not expect Wen Zaifu to defeat the troops of the West region in one night. 
Indeed, the soldiers remaining in the West region were not extremely powerful. Moreover, their masters mysteriously disappeared. Where did Sun Xuanwen go? Could it be that the evil intentions of God Lu did not have high hopes in the troops of the West region and therefore asked Sun Xuanwen to leave earlier? That was highly possible. The Imperial Dragon soldiers lost 12 men, side Li Liang, they killed more than 10 blood devils before they died, they died a worthy death. Lu Xu was emotionless. He could not save every single Imperial Dragon soldier. Deaths were inevitable in a battle, he understood this since the start. Fortunately, only 12 of them died on the first night. That showed how powerful the Imperial Dragon soldiers were. There's no such thing as dying a worthy death. Lu Xu shook his head. One could only die a worthy death when one dies of old age after enjoying wealth for one's entire life. I finally understand why Zhang Weiyu did not want to be a commander. In the past, none of the Imperial Dragon soldiers died. Therefore, everyone thought that the Imperial Dragon soldiers would not die. However, this was not the case. Even the King of Gods could die. Chen Zuan, who was sleeping at the side, suddenly opened his eyes. Wealth? What wealth? Lu Xu said in annoyance, continue sleeping. Oh. The Imperial Dragon soldiers who were lying on the walls of the city laughed out loud, Chen Zuan, you can't control yourself when you hear the word wealth, right? Hey. Chen Zuan was unhappy. You can ask Brother Xu to know what a frugal life I lived in the past. Now, I am living for my belief. I am no longer a person who has such lowly interests, okay? In fact, nobody slept. When they closed their eyes, they saw the gruesome blood devils. They were clutching the cold tridents in their hands and heard the sounds of the battle all around them as well as the laughter from buddies, who sacrificed themselves. Lu Xu looked at Lu Xiaoyu. Clear the battleground. If we don't clear the bodies of the blood devils, we probably won't need to defend. They can run up to the fortress by stepping on these bodies. All right, you can count on me, said Lu Xiaoyu. After saying that, the ground outside the inner city turned into sand and covered the bodies of the blood devils on the ground. Nobody knew how many blood devils were buried under the inner city. The palace had become a city of death. Lu Xu thought that none of the kings in the Luniverse would dare to make the palace the capital in the future. However, don't be afraid that they can head to the top of the city wall directly. Lu Xiaoyu took a glance at Lu Xu. If we are forced to, I can raise the ground of the inner city. Go and rest, all of you, another evil battle is about to happen. Lu Xu saw the Blood Devil army becoming orderly again. Their reinforcements and the new leader must have arrived. We have to be careful tonight, said Lu Xu. I suspect that the master of the Blood Devils of the North region has already reached the battleground. They are waiting to show their powers. He is so impatient? Li Liang asked. To him, the best choice for the Blood Devil army would be to surround the palace. As there were a lot of the Blood Devils, the other party would not mind sacrificing them. Therefore, they were not eager to start the final war. If Chung Kong was not worried, he wouldn't have had to reveal himself right now. After another 10 or 20 years, he would have gained control of the entire world. Lu Xu smiled. He has his reasons to be worried. Now, Lu Xu took a glance at the celestial map. Despite having exchanged a large number of refresher fruits, his distress points was almost sufficient to light up the sixth level of nebula. Tonight, even if they did not go and look for Eli Xu, Lu Xu would definitely head out for a chat with them. Chapter 1325 Metaphysics Lu Xu was awake when everyone else was sleeping. He had his eyes on the Blood Devil's army on the mountain far away. As long as the Blood Devils were within 100 miles from him, he could see them clearly. Lu Xu wanted to look for the position of the commander who had just arrived. However, he seemed to be hiding very well and was probably at the other side of the mountain. 
Earlier on, he took a look at the Sword Hut and found out that the Sword Hut was much more free than the Imperial Dragon soldiers. A group of Blood Devils died after more than 1,000 Sword Spirits were let out. The Sword Spirits would not really die. They would reform in one day after they were destroyed. Yet, the small sword spirits were much better than the soldiers of the East region in terms of speed and strength. They could break the heads of the soldiers of the East region with a slap. One should know that with a rank 1 body type, the sword spirit developed would at least by rank 2. Some people had endured it for a long time before the opening of the Sea of Chi and Snowy Mountain. Therefore, they could immediately form a rank 1 sword spirit after the collapse of the Snowy Mountain. The disciples of the Sword Hut who had firmly believed that they had to endure the Sea of Chi and Snowy Mountain had their belief reaffirmed. Initially, they endured because they thought that they could achieve more in the future. However, there was no objective standards to make that judgment. Now, with those standards, the standard of the Sword Spirit made a huge difference in the outcome. It was extremely different between a helper who was rank 1 and a helper with the same status. Lu Xu believed that the Sword Hut would proceed in their path of sabotaging their disciples. They did not know if more disciples would die from the endurance in the future. The disciples of the Sword Hut had already figured out the biggest enemy of the Sea of Qi and Snowy Mountain. Therefore, whenever they instructed their disciples, once the disciples began to endure the Sea of Qi and Snowy Mountain, they had to start to fast. Lu Xu sighed. He felt that the Sword Hut was crazy. Last night, some of the disciples of the Sword Hut had nothing to do after letting out their sword spirits. The East Region did not have any sword spirits to respond with. The soldiers of the East Region were not as daring and courageous as the Blood Devils. When Lu Xu heard the news, he regretted not teaching the Imperial Dragon Soldiers sword play. Back then, he thought that he should not teach skills that Old Man Lee taught him. After all, that was something that belonged to Old Man Lee. However, it was too late by the time he confirmed that Lu Xiaoyu was the ancestor of the Sword Hut. If not, he would have taught them long ago. Now, if he had 5,000 more sword spirits, how amazing would that be? However, Lu Xu did not request any assistance from the Sword Hut. That was because once Ching Kong attacked tonight Yufuyao would not let it go so easily. This would be a massive battle for everyone. When the sun was about to disappear below the horizon, all the Imperial Dragon soldiers stood up on the city walls and looked at the mountain afar. I wonder when those brats would come over. We are just waiting for them here. We will kill whoever comes. At this moment, Li Liang sighed. Great Lord told me and Yi Qian to be wary of the North region long ago. Those brats had yet to reveal themselves back then. Great Lord was really extremely observant, I wonder how he knew that there was something wrong with Ching Kong. Chen Zuan said after thinking, this is easy. Li Liang was stunned. How? Is there anyone ordinary around Brother Xu, said Chen Zuan, none of the people around him are ordinary. Therefore, Ching Kong was definitely not our people since he looks very ordinary. Li Liang suddenly felt strange. Brother, that's some metaphysics. Lu Xu said emotionlessly, this is suicidal. At this moment, the Blood Devil army finally flew up into the sky and flew towards the palace. Lu Xu said as he looked at Cloudy and Tiger Ji, tonight, their main target is probably me. I hope that both of you can look for the new commander of the opponent. Cloudy and Tiger Ji looked at each other. This time, the Blood Devil army had united their forces. It was not easy to infiltrate and look for the new commander. However, if they did not find the new commander, the Imperial Dragon soldiers would probably not last. Cloudy said, All right, rest assured. The commander was probably a master. There was already a case where the commander had been decapitated. Some expert of the Blood Devil was probably behind this. Therefore, one would sacrifice their life if they went in for this task. After saying that, she saw Lu Xu bow to her. Please. Cloudy suddenly laughed. 
In this life, we begin by bowing to each other. Now, we are ending it by bowing too. Lu Xu and Cloudy both laughed. They recalled how Lu Xu bowed to apologize to Cloudy after he recognized her at the airport. Lu Xu stopped smiling and looked at Cloudy seriously. It won't end. Prioritize your lives. After saying that, Cloudy and Tiger Xi left through the void. Both of them understood their mission after the quick meeting. Lu Xu looked at Ming Yuaya. Can I trust you? Ming Yuaya smiled. You don't know how long I have waited for you to ask me that. Tonight, you shall follow behind me. Lu Xu looked towards the sky. We will kill the master. As he said that, he looked at Lu Xiaoyu. Without Wen Zaifu and Sun Xuanwen, the blood devils would probably attack the west side. However, we don't have sufficient manpower from the Imperial Dragon soldiers. Lu Xiaoyu smiled. Coral and I will be sufficient. We cannot let them invade the city, Lu Xu said. That will not happen with me around, said Lu Xiaoyu. Do you need anything else? Lu Xu was still not assured. Lu Xiaoyu smiled. Give me the sword in your celestial map. The front of the sword had the words, I only need 30% of the scenery, while the back had the words, I don't want anything else. I only want you. It had been a long time since Lu Xiaoyu held a sword. It felt as though it had been a century. However, when Lu Xu told her to hold it, she would. After passing the sword to Lu Xiaoyu, Lu Xu turned and looked at the blood devils who were approaching the palace. He roared, kill the enemies. There was no flowery languages in a real battle. There was only blood and fire. The gates of hell had been opened for them. Please die in peace. When the blood devil army met the palace, blood was splattered on the ground. Like what Lu Xu had imagined, the Blood Devil army had split into two bloody rivers. Each side swarmed towards the west side of the city gates that Lu Xiaoyu and Coral were guarding. Lu Xu did not look towards that side. Lu Xiaoyu said they could guard it and he believed in her. He looked into the sky. Seven handsome young men walked towards the palace and stared at Lu Xu with a bloody gaze. Finally, something interesting. Lu Xu was out of the city and walked slowly towards the northwest without any hurry. He could not let the palace turn into the main battlefield of the masters, as that would hurt the imperial dragon soldiers. Also, Ming Yueya was following behind him. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And then we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens 